my mouth molly here um so my mom recently brought me a folder she's been hanging on to a while that is very old and full of uh, lots of random things i've done apparently since preschool up through um college and a lot of what's in here is actually some poetry that i wrote in middle school and reading through it i've had a lot of fun um, both laughing and a little bit crying and also just wondering what on earth I was thinking when I wrote some of the things that I wrote. There's a lot of love poems that aren't about anybody in particular, um, but I was also probably 12 when I wrote them and I don't know why I thought I knew everything about the world of love. Anyways, I wanted to share some of the joy I found in reading my old poems with you today. And I wanted to read you one of my absolute favorite poems that I've ever written in my entire life. It's a poem called, There Was a Girl. So here we go. <clears throat> there was a girl who looked like summer with rain in her eyes. She was dressed in misty twilight, violet petals where she lies. She smelled of fragrant flowers and of the ocean breeze. Her voice sang to the heavens, putting souls at ease. Her face was like an easel painted full of bloom. Her smile like the twinkling stars beneath a bright full moon. She had no light to warm her, but she herself shone bright. You would often see them staring, captured by her light. Her maiden's gown was pearl and shining like the snow. It fell across her bosom and cast a tender glow. But she should stand alone with no one by her side. Her light alone reminder of her duty and her pride. Her tears fell like the stars and sparkled like the dew. Yet still she spoke to none and ignored the gazing few. No one understands her and no one ever will. She's locked away in her own world, frozen completely still. Her love was like a sunset and heart warm like the sun. They would always see her kneeling there praying for everyone. Butterflies surround her, concealing all her fears. But she still felt alone. And now, she disappears. Her song, a silent whisper, lost on the winds of time. Her only image gone. Her light she left behind. I read that poem um, and I think about the age I was when I wrote it and it occurs to me that it sounds sort of suicidal the way it ends with her disappearing and her feeling alone and I never had those thoughts. I mean, not really, not truly, like some people that are suffering through that do. And I don't even remember feeling sad when I actually wrote this poem. And that's one of the things that gets to me. And every time I read it, I feel like it resonates with me just a little bit more. Like, I wrote it then for myself in the future. Because that was when I was going to need it. <laughs> Anyways. I'll be sharing more of my middle school poetry with you later on. Um, some of it's much more laughable than that piece I just shared with you. Uh, please feel free to give me your feedback on it. Let me know what you think or how that poem might have affected you or if you have some poetry that you would like to share. Thanks, you guys. This has been Polymath Molly. See you next time.